in preparing for Rutgers, we watched a lot of video on them. <clears throat> and they have a big, big man, 6'11", uh, 240 or 50 pounds, that my coaches compared to Will Chamberlain with his ability to just dunk the ball over people. He's an unbelievable athlete, probably one of the great athletes in the country. Uh, he scores in around the basket. And, uh, if, if he's in the lane and he has the ball, he's trying to dunk on anybody that's near him. They also have very outstanding backcourt uh, guys who are very, very clever with the basketball, very, very skillful. So this is an outstanding defensive team. Uh, one of the best defensive teams in the country, but also offensively have a lot of skilled players who can score the basketball. Could I ask one follow-up on that? Uh, with a guy like that in the lane that you're talking about, how do you think that Norchad, for example, would do against a guy like that? Well, I think it's pretty hard to project right now until you see them side by side and uh, figure out you know, how they're going to defend us and how we're going to defend them. Uh, yesterday, we did not practice because we had a very hard-fought game Sunday night late. Uh, didn't get back to campus until midnight. By the time guys get to sleep, it's 1 o'clock. And the most important thing in our minds is the seven habits of highly effective people. Habit number seven is sharpen your saw which means rest and recovery to get the energy level back up because we're going to need a ton of energy against these guys. They are very, very big and athletic, and uh, they're going to present a whole lot of problems for our defense uh, tomorrow night. Let's go to Adam Lichtenstein from the Sun Sentinel. Adam, go ahead for Coach L. Hey, Jim. Um, first question is just, uh, you know, after seven games, you know, early part of the schedule, uh, what have been some of the things that you've learned about this team? Well, the, the, the first thing is that how, how enjoyable they are to be around as, as players and people. Uh, if you talk to any of the people who've got to know our players, they all rave about their personalities, how engaging they are, uh, how hard they work. If you've watched this practice, they're very committed. They, they're very team oriented. Guys like like Norshad O'Meara and Nigel Pack, who are new to the program, they have fit in very very well with Isaiah Wong and Jordan Miller and uh, Anthony Walker, Bensley Joseph, Wilma Poplar. I think what we've seen is some improvement in certain areas. I think we're competing on the backboards pretty well, uh, even even though we're undersized. Uh, I think we're we're sharing the ball pretty well. We're turning the ball over a little too much, uh, but I think that's early in the season and with so many new faces, you know, we have seven guys that were not uh, in uniform last season, you know, seeing game action. Seven is more than half our, our scholarship team, so you know, you're always going to have a bit of time to adjust to a new environment. I think our freshmen are starting to come along I like the way Favor played uh, the other day against Central Florida. I like the way AJ is playing in several key matchups. Uh, those guys were our highest plus minus. Favor was a plus eight, and AJ was a plus six in their limited time. So that encourages me to give them a little bit uh, longer look. And then we're still trying to bring along some other guys like uh, Ja'Kai Robinson and Christian Watson. And then I had just uh, one other quick question. Um, obviously, you guys play Rutgers this week uh, in, in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Uh, they're introducing the ACC SEC Challenge next year. Uh, what are these kind of um, these matchups with with other high profile conferences? Uh, what what do they bring for the team? What do they help help you guys with? Well, I think they bring a lot to to ESPN and, and the TV networks because you know, I think everybody loves the ACC Big Ten Challenge. I know I watched last night. Virginia Tech got us off to a great start with a win over Minnesota. And then Pittsburgh went on the road and won at, at uh, Northwestern, who was 5-1. and one. There are some huge matchups tonight, and again, huge matchups tomorrow night. So it's made for TV scheduling, uh, and it works well. I think the SEC, ACC challenge will be the same. That uh, There'll be a lot of talk and trash talking, 
amongst the leagues as to who's better. Uh, but, you know, in, in my mind, I think the teams are still not where they're going to be in January and February and March. You know, I, I know for us, uh, I'm reluctant to play uh, new guys right away until they've proven themselves in practice. And then sometimes it's hard to get them playing time uh, because your veterans are doing so well. So, you know, everybody's going through that where you're making adjustments and you're trying to uh, like give depth to your to, to your uh, rotation. And the other day, I think we played, uh, well, Bensley came in off the bench, Anthony Walker came in off the bench, A.J. Casey came in off the bench, and uh, uh, Favor Ira came in off the bench. So we went nine deep, and, uh, you know, it's very conceivable we could go 10 or 11. Go to Azubi Charles from Kane Sport. Azubi? Hey, Coach. Uh, just first off, congratulations uh, with the win against UCF. Just getting a, a win like that in a hostile road environment against a team that you guys lost to last year, just how important or what kind of things that, that does for your team this year? Well, I think we've had two terrific uh, uh, Power 5 wins in beating Providence on a neutral site, which was really almost a home game for them and then go on the road and beat Central Florida from the American Conference. Uh, Central Florida is moving into the Big 12, so uh, we lost to them last year. Very, very close game. We gave up like 95 points. Uh, this year, we were able to you know, hold them into the low 60s, so I'm hoping that's a, a, a sign of things to come defensively for us. But we're playing a very, very strong Rutgers team tomorrow that's also great defensively and uh, with a lot of skilled players at the offensive end. So we got a major challenge uh, tomorrow night. Go to Bo Healy from the South Dade News Leader. Bo? Hey, Jim. Hey, uh, you already answered my question. I was going to ask about AJ Faber and uh, Chris Watson and Kai and uh, how they're coming along, but you kind of answered it already. So uh, good luck tomorrow night. Right, thanks, Bo. Go to Marcus Benjamin from Canes County. Marcus? Hey, Coach. Uh, just wanted to ask about just a, f a fast break points and how important is it for this team to kind of get out and run, being uh, how athletic you guys are. How important is it just to kind of get out and run and, and, and get points in transition? Yeah, it's funny, Marcus, you ask about uh, that. Yes, I think we are very athletic. But what I'm finding out is everybody we're playing is very athletic. It's amazing how many good basketball players there are everywhere. And the reason you know that is a lot of these guys, including a Rutgers tomorrow night, have transfers who have come in and made a huge difference in their lineup. We have three transfers in our starting lineup. Jordan Miller, who transferred last year, and then Nigel Pack and Norshad O'Meara came this year. So we have some very good athleticism, but there's just so many good players around the country. Uh, we're, we're not playing small ball. We're even playing smaller ball. And that's a major concern of mine because we have to get out to the open court. Uh, we're a team that's going to rely very, very heavily on getting some uh, layups and open threes in transition. If we can't force turnovers, if we can't defensive rebounding, we can't defense a rebound. We're going to have a hard time getting into the open court. And that means we'll have a hard time scoring. What we want to average is 75 points a game. The last time we played a team that was very athletic, uh, Central Florida is big, can really rebound the ball, one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the country. And uh, it came down to uh, actually uh, a two-point win because Norshad O'Meara got an offensive rebound for us, right? And that's, that's, that's going to be critical. But scoring in the open court is one of our highest offensive priorities. Any more questions for Coach Al? All right, Coach, thank you for your time. Thanks, everybody.